Have you seen this dog running? You have not seen this dog running. Not possible. No one has seen him running because he runs like light. Have you seen the movement of light? No, you have not seen the movement of light. Johan is a free dog, a fast dog, such a fast dog. He lives in an urban park by the sea, and every day he runs through the park, seeing all, missing nothing, and reporting what he sees to the park's three ancient bison, the keepers of the equilibrium. But the equilibrium has been disrupted. Mysterious rectangles are hypnotizing Johan. The humans are erecting a mysterious new building and an entirely new kind of animal has arrived in the park. And there are hundreds of them. Johan must run faster, see better, and ultimately do more than run and see. He must liberate those he loves. Presenting the winner in 2024 of the Newberry Medal, which is presented each year to a distinguished work of children's literature. The author is Dave Eggers. I turn, I turn, I turn before I lie to sleep and I rise before the sun. I sleep inside and sleep outside and have slept in the hollow of a thousand year old tree. When I sleep, I need warmth, I need quiet, I need freedom from sound. When I sleep, I dream of mothers and clouds. Clouds are the messengers of God. And I dream of pupusas for I love pupusas and I eat them with gusto. I am a dog called Johan, and I have seen you. I have seen you in this park, my home. If you have come to this park, my vast green and wind-blown park by the sea, I have seen you. I have seen everyone who has been here, the walkers and runners and bikers and horse riders and the bison seekers and the picnickers and the archers in their cloaks. When you have come here, you have come to my home where I am the eyes. I have seen all of you here, the big and small and tall and odorous, the travelers and tourists and locals and roller skating humans and those who play their brass under the mossy bridge and the jitterbug people who dance over that other bridge and bearded humans who try to send flying discs into cages but usually fail. I see all in this park because I am the eyes and have been entrusted with seeing and reporting all. Ask the turtles about me. Ask the squirrels. Don't ask the ducks. The ducks know nothing. I run like a rocket. I run like a laser. You have never seen speed like mine. When I run, I pull at the earth and make it turn. Have you seen me? No, you have not seen me. Not possible. You are mistaken. No one has seen me running because when I run, human eyes are blind to me. I run like light. Have you seen the movement of light? Have you? You have not seen the movement of light, but still, I like you. You did not expect this or deserve this, but I do. I like you. I was born here. It's a story. My mother was house kept and still is. But when she was pregnant, she came here to a hollow in a tree and waited for us to be born. I don't know and she doesn't know why she chose to have us in the woods rather than in the safety of her human home for she lived then in a human home and she has a tag and is fed daily and petted always and cared for by human doctors who have kept her alive so long 
so much longer than she would have lived out here. Why she had us out here, I don't know, but she did. And when we all came out of her, oily and whimpering, she did an unexpected thing. She picked one of us and brought that one, Leonard, my brother, to her human lair. And apparently her humans were thrilled to have her back home and delighted with her new son. The rest of us she left in the hollow of that tree. I am not bitter, I am a comet. I have vague recollections of another dog feeding us pups in those early days. I have cloudy memories of that dog's smell. But was it a dog? Or was it a fox or a raccoon? Janie says it was an owl. Joni says it was a squirrel. Those are my sisters, Joni and Janie. There's also my brother, Stephen. Someone fed us for those crucial first days. And it was only a weeks, it was only a few weeks before we could fend for ourselves. And we did. We fended and we grew and we were good. Leonard was being fed from a kibble bag while we scrounged for what we could find in the park. We were hungry, but we were free. I still fend and I still scrounge and am still free, have always been free. No one feeds me. I am unkempt and free. This is my life. God is the sun. Clouds are her messengers. Rain is only rain. This park is enormous. I am not a math expert, but I believe it is 10,000 miles along its length and about 3,000 along its width. It is long and narrow, and it leads from the gray city all the way to a rough gray patch of angry ocean that meets a vast windy beach where people drown three or four times a year in the sinewy muscles of the savage sea. I have been to this beach and have not drowned. I have crossed roads and highways and I remain unharmed. I have bitten a leg or two when necessary and I have leapt from a rooftop and came away fine. I am strong. I stared straight into a solar eclipse and nothing happened. I cannot be defeated. Maybe I'll never die. In those early days, Joni and Janie and Stephen and I found the garbage near the snack vendors and we ate heartily from said garbage. It was so easy and we ate well. We ate half-eaten hot dogs and parts of pretzels and drank incomplete juices and sodas and spit out the sodas for they were offensive to us then and still are now. There was so much food here, so much that it was and still is so easy to eat often and well. Then Joni and Janie and Stephen disappeared and it was strange how it happened. We were still puppies, I know that now. We were all puppies and were watching the humans dancing near the bridge one day, just the four of us sitting and watching the band and the dancing when suddenly human hands lifted them, Joni and Stephen, saying things about how they were puppies and so small and so fuzzy. And I thought, no, I thought no and told Janie, run. But she thought yes and said yes and stayed and she was lifted up too. So they were taken by humans and I assume they became kept dogs, pets. And I ran into the woods where I remained free and became the eyes. This has been a preview of the eyes and the impossible.